And that reason to be cheerful was Les Patterson has a stand up. And I have the man himself with me right now. Hey! Oh, lovely. He's loud, lecherous, and apparently the Australian attache for the cultural arts. Um, I watched his video last night, and I'm a little nervous to be talking to him, but good morning, Les. It's so enjoyed. Tell me go. this, Tammy. <laughs> Did you find it a bit of a turn on? Oh, the dribble's so attractive first thing in the morning. Um, I, I, no, you know, you I thought it was, I thought it was, um, I thought it was really funny, a little crude. Well, it's not really, it's meant to help people who've got problems getting together. You I figured see, that. Couples who haven't done the dirty deed for a long time, <laughs> or ever, can watch this and gradually they'll melt together. Right. Because this Melting. Is, yes, it's, it's, it's that kind of thing. It's a public service I'm doing with this video. Now, well, you are a pin-up, aren't you, in Australia and here? Yes, it's funny. I'm, I'm not a classical-looking fellow, Tammy, and you're beautiful. Thank you. But uh, Where is your, I am your women girl? like me. Women like me. Where's and, your girl Friday? And doctors send women to me. Do they? They do. My girl Friday isn't with me at the moment because I thought I might do a bit of good for myself with you if she's not <laughs> here. <laughs> well, I've actually got a free evening next week. Maybe we could sort something Why out. Why not, my dear? So now, who, who, who are your pin-ups? My pin-ups? Well, I used to like Kim Novak. Right. And uh, I was very fond of Jane Mansfield. Right. Uh, and uh, more oh recently, goodness. more recently, I like Claudia Schiffer. Oh I do. God. Claudia Schiffer. Oh, I love the way you say that. It's so sort of... It is. I feel that about Claudia. I, I can see I you do. do. Uh, uh, you now, know, what, I what it... a lot of people say Liam Gallagher <laughs> is... You know, he spits on, the, spits on the audience. Does he? But I started that many, many years ago. <laughs> I pioneered it. And it's just my way of connecting with people in the audience, and they don't mind. Oh, can you see? I'm a little nervous. I don't be I, nervous for me. <laughs> now, what does it take to become a Lizette? Well, I have a big turnover in secretaries. To be a Lizette, you've got to do a little bit of dancing. Right. And, uh, on the typewriter? Uh, on the computer or the typewriter. And uh, you've got to be prepared, you know, to go with the flow. Let it all hang out. And uh, when you watch my hardcore sex education video, <laughs> you will observe the Lesettes, uh, you know, very intimate with me. I, I've had intimate relations with all of them. Would you say you're a romantic sort of chap? I am. And, you know, I'm very sentimental about my wife. I've got a lovely wife. Gwen. Gwen, Gwen, she lives in Sydney, and you she doesn't very young, know, if she you? knew I was on this show with you, she'd be very jealous. <laughs> There's no problem, Gwen, absolutely no I would problem. Have, my wife was a hand model, viewers. She, uh, she, was, a, she was a hand model. Her for hand me. appeared in an advertisement for a toilet cleanser <laughs> in Australia. And all you saw was just this lovely hand holding the stuff and sprinkling it in a bowl. <laughs> Uh, mind you, if the camera had travelled a bit further up her arm, she would have been out of a job. So she doesn't know you're here? <laughs> no, well, she knows I'm roaming around, but she's permanently sedated. She is. <laughs> oh, I, As a matter I, of fact, I, she, she lent some of them. You see Fergie on the television? She's a little bit slurred. Well, know. we were wondering whether you had any She uses the, the same girls. sedatives. What? We've got two princesses who are sort of a little bit free at the moment. Oh. We're wondering if you had any ideas of what they could be doing. Well, I've, as a matter of fact, I have to tell you that I'm the one name not mentioned in Fergie's autobiology. Oh, you're I joking. Am. Yes, I'm the mystery man in Little Fergie. <laughs> <laughs> I am! So, do you feel that, you know, coming on shows like this is good for you? I mean, because you're a reformed, a reformed good, drinker now, aren't you? Some people think, um, oh yes, this water, I'm drinking water. Are you sure it's water? That's, it is water. And there's no tinkle tinkle no, either? No, there isn't, because I reckon those people are losers. And this is a family show. And I want to say, all of you, that I've got the reputation of being a bit raunchy. <laughs> but I'm fundamentally a family man. In other words, people who watch my video feel like having a family. They do. <laughs> you do you, Les, um, do you think your fast lifestyle has affected your health in any way? No, I'm extremely healthy. As a matter of fact, though I was a bit worried, my doctor ran his uh, periscope up me the other day. And he said, I'm afraid, Les, your liver is enlarged. And I said, I think you'll find that applies to most of my other <laughs> organs. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
And what about your sort of teeth? I mean, they're definitely not not American, are they? You know, these teeth once belonged to the Bee Gees. They did. <laughs> but they have no further use for them. Really? So I have that, a that, dental... That doesn't surprise me. A really dental though. transplant. <laughs> so, but they're definitely different. I mean, do you think that's anything to do with the smoking that you used to do? Well, yes. I do, very rarely do I smoke now. I know. It's I, taking I noticing... a few years for these stains to go. But... Uh, no, I, I smoke very moderately. Right. Uh, no more than 20 or 30 before breakfast. <laughs> and uh, oh. you've got a bit of a cough too, Tammy. Oh, I, I know. I've, I've bit been... of a chest problem. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> a massage might help, darling. Do you think you could sort one out later? Oh, I think I could, honey. Do I'm you? in for the aromatherapy. I am. Well, and what's that all about? Well, uh, you can find out for yourself. Now, what are you going to be doing for Christmas? It's the season, you well, know, for Christmas. For I'm going back to Australia because my wife's all alone there, and I've got two kids. They're grown up, but they're out of a job. My daughter is at a school for ridiculously slow learners, <laughs> and uh, she's 32. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to give her a night. I don't know what I'll buy her yet. You know, doing her shopping around. But you're definitely going to go books. back. You're not going to stay here for a sort of nice English traditional Christmas. I'd like to, but um, my roots call me. But I'm a man who enjoys a root. <laughs> I am. Do you think being a style guru is something that's come naturally to you, or do you think, you know, you've had to sort of work at it? I haven't had to work at it. I'm an, I'm an absolute natural. I, I know. I am, and so are you. Uh, I, I am, I, I, I've been discovered by the public. People like me, and I've done a lot to publicise Australia, particularly Australian cheese. We, well, I was going to ask you about that. What is? I mean, well, we I represent the funny. Australian cheese industry, and <laughs> we've got a lovely new variety. It's Tasmanian mauve vein. Right. Now, it's it's cheese. It's in a cylindrical form, and it's got a nice mauve vein running through it, and it's proving very, very popular. Particularly I hope with my the mother's folk. not watching this. She's going to be most. Your happy. mother would enjoy this. <laughs> she would. Mrs. Beckworth, are you watching? <laughs> This girl is lovely. But what about alternative therapies? I mean, do you, do you, do you believe in therapy? Th therapy? <laughs> oh. Just, oh, oh, no, don't. look, I, I like it plain and simple. I do. Some women have said to me, you know, can you do something a bit unusual, Les? And I refuse to do that. I do. I'm sorry. Call me old-fashioned, as Dame Edna is wont to say. Dame Edna, have you seen her recently? No, my last she doesn't point. talk to me. This woman considers that I am indecent and no. I am rude. No. And it's terrible. No. Oh, let it is. It, is that very hurtful? It hurts me. I'm sure. It hurts me where it hurts. Where's that? Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. Where does it hurt you, darling? <laughs> but, uh, Dame Edna, no, she's a nice woman, but she's a bit prudish. Oh. And I wouldn't want her to see my video, Les has a stand up, because it contains things, explicit things, and yet tastefully expressed. So it's a very good thing to give to any member of your family who's a bit horny. A bit horny, Les. Well, obviously horny is something that's sort of quite topical for you. So I think we're going to um, <laughs> say thank you very much for oh, coming she's in. She's a darling, this girl. I'm just and, uh, very happy you didn't spit at me too and much. And she and me are going to be having a little tater tate later tater -tater. in the week, in the evening, we aren't are we, darling? What well, are you going to be wearing underneath? We're going to, <laughs> on the news. I'm now going to pass it back to Peter Smith and thank you Liz very, Patterson very much. Liz Patterson and Tammy Beckworth, thanking you for having us at your place. The 